Hey guys, uh, Shibley182 here. Uh, first off, I want to apologize uh, for taking so long to get this video up. It's took me a little over a week. Um, I've been kind of preoccupied with school and stuff. Uh, I've been watching all your videos though, don't worry. Um, but I've been preoccupied with school and stuff. My, my uh, course runs right through the summer, uh, so yeah, I've been kind of busy with that. Uh, hopefully I can graduate in February and be done with school and shit, so... Uh, yeah, so I, I've still been picking up DVDs and stuff, so no worries there. I still got plenty of videos to do. Um, they just might be a little bit further apart. I'll try not to keep them a week apart. I'll try to get one in every three, four days, but uh, that, I think that's the best I'm gonna be able to do right now. Um, secondly, uh, my girlfriend picked me up a Friday the Thirteenth poster. Uh, we were at our local Sunrise looking through DVDs and stuff. Um, and I picked up a couple of these DVDs. We'll get into that in a later uh, video in a, on another day. Um, and she saw that Friday the 13th poster and it was seven dollars and she knew I'd love it so she grabbed it for me so that's awesome I, I have to thank her for that she's always surprising me with horror shit she knows all you have to do to make me happy is is buy me something Halloween Friday the 13th anything like that and I'm happy so <laughs> she does that quite a bit for me um, so I thought I'd celebrate my new Friday the 13th poster by reviewing um, Friday the 13th Uncut um, the deluxe edition um, an absolute classic an absolute amazing top-notch horror film in my books um, in my top five horror films of all time probably in my top three or four slashers of all time um, but yeah it, it's hard to get into my top three because of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Last House on the Left and Halloween um, those aren't in order um, but yeah this is definitely my top five uh, it's got a sweet little cover on it I don't, I'm not a fan of the artwork don't get me wrong but I do think it's cool how it moves uh, and the knife gleams. Um, but this stars Betsy Palmer, uh, Kevin Bacon, Adrian King. Uh, it was produced and directed by Sean S. Cunningham and written by Victor Miller. And it's about a bunch of camp counselors who are getting a camp ready to be opened at Camp Crystal Lake where a young boy, Jason Voorhees, had drowned back in the 1950s. Um, his mother, Pamela, is doing everything in her power to make sure this camp doesn't get reopened. Um, so she begins to uh, pick off these counselors one by one in uh, many different ways, many creative ways. Uh, you got Arrows Through the Throat, Kevin Bacon's death, one of the most famous deaths uh, from this movie, probably um, the most famous or the second most famous death in this movie, um, where he gets the arrow through his throat. In this version you get a couple extra added seconds of the gore. Um, you have uh, Mrs. Voorhees' death, which is probably the more famous death in this movie, where she gets her head cut off. Um, you get a couple extra seconds of that. So there's definitely lots of created death, deaths in this movie. Um, and for the time it came out, um, pretty pretty gory. Um, uh, uh, Tom Savini did the special effects, uh, an absolute master when it comes to that. Probably the best uh, ever to do special effects on film, in my opinion. Um, the acting, the story, everything about this movie. I, I loved absolutely everything about it. The whole battle scene at the end of the movie between Pamela and Alice is absolutely amazing. Um, the end surprise there with uh, Alice in the canoe. Um, when I first saw this movie, I didn't see it coming. Um, uh, just a little question for you guys. When you saw this movie, did you guys know Mrs. Voorhees was the killer? Did you think Jason was the killer? Did you go into it not knowing anything at all? And were you absolutely blown away by finding out Pamela was the killer? Um, that's something I ask a lot of my friends. Um, not a, not really any of them are huge horror fans, so I don't really get a horror fan's perspective on it, other than my own. And that was when I first saw this film, um, I didn't know Miss Voorhees was the killer. Um, I, in my opinion, Jason was the killer. Um, so I was definitely shocked by that, and it blew me away. I was a young kid. I had heard about Jason. I had never heard about Mrs. Voorhees. So uh, that was pleasantly surprising, and it was definitely something that I think um, gave this film a little bit of extra leverage when it came to where it falls in, in my top films of all time. I think this is one of my favorites because it's not Jason and because it's his mother, and Betsy Palmer's performance in this was just absolutely amazing in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I love Jason Voorhees. Don't get me wrong, like, part four is probably my favorite Friday the 13th um, with Jason in it, but I just don't know if I like it more than this one or not. I may, but I don't know because, let's just say I love Friday the 13th, the first one, and Friday the 13th part four equally. Um, those are the two best films in the series in my opinion. But anyway, back to this one. 
Uh, the whole scene with Jason at the ending um, made me shit my pants when I'm 11, 12 years old watching this movie. Um, so yeah, um, there's a crap load of special features on here. You get commentary from Sean Cunningham, fresh cuts, tales from Friday the 13th, uh, Man Behind the Legacy, Sean S. Cunningham, a Friday the 13th reunion, Lost Tales from Camp Blood Part 1, and the theatrical trailer. So, what more can I say? Um, it's an absolute classic. This DVD has a beautiful transfer, awesome sound. Um, like I said, it's got the uncut gore, um, a few extra seconds there of Sean, of Sean kind of, of Kevin Bacon's death and of Miss Voorhees' death. Um, it's got this nice little cover. The artwork could have been better, but still kind of cool. It's got these damn snap things. And no disc artwork. That's something they could improve on. I'd like to see some sweet-ass Friday the 13th disc art. But yeah, overall, this is an amazing movie. Definitely needs to be part of your collection. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely needs to be seen. I don't know what you're waiting for because this is an all-time great and it will forever sit in my collection and it will. I will be very proud to have it there. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Sorry if I rambled on a little bit. Um, I haven't done a video in a week, so I've been kind of anxious to do this. Uh, comment, let me know what you thought about the movie the first time you saw it, and uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks a lot for watching.